All right, so for Investigation 9, we're looking at tessellations. You've got three different definitions, tessellation, regular tessellation, and then semi-regular tessellation that you'll need to copy into your notes. And then you've got 1 through 15 that you need to answer, and then 8 through E. Make sure that you do all of those tonight for your homework. Whatever you don't finish in class, you'll need to finish at home. And then turn in your notes and investigation practice A through E for your homework tomorrow so that you can make sure you get credit for all of that. Hopefully, you'll see how tessellation works. I will say an example of a semi-regular tessellation would be a soccer ball. If you think about a soccer ball, it's composed of two different uh, regular polygons. And so it is a semi-regular tessellation, just like this one that they show you in the book. So that would be an example of a semi-regular tessellation that some of you have probably seen in real life. Um, a regular tessellation, look at the floor. It's just a bunch of squares. That technically is a regular tessellation. It's the same figure with no gaps or overlaps. Um, but you have probably come up with tessellations before. So anyway, hopefully that'll make sense, but that's what you need to do for your investigation none.